But one of the funny things I was telling some people yesterday, we would hatch all the eggs in the house. For eggs in, from... in, in an incubator from uh -huh. ducks and geese and other creatures. And um, so they imprinted on the children. Yes. In other words, they, you pop out, what do you see? That's your parents. Mama. So they would go to the school bus with our kids, wanting to go with them all the time. And when we would have so many, I couldn't keep them in the yard, my mother lived on a lake. So I would go down there and we'd let all the ducks and geese go. Got a phone call from my mother. I said, Mom, what is it? The neighbors want to know something. What do they want to know? Why did the ducks and geese come out of the water every time the school bus shows up? <laughs> I said, they're looking for our kids. But I thought that was, a, you know, these animals. That's amazing. Yeah, they have feelings, emotions, memories. Yes. Yeah, we don't give yes. them credit too often. Love uh, to talk to them sometimes. Yeah. It is. It is. And we broke every zoning law. Because when I say this, we didn't live on a farm. We have an acre and a half and a house. Um, and I built sheds outside and fences. But never, well, and I needed the police sometimes because, you know, I couldn't find somebody and I'd say, hey, if anybody reports it, let me know. Um, most of the time they were hidden in the house in the rafters or something, you know. <laughs> you walk around with a banana and they'd come out. But um, what I realized is nobody ever complained because they enjoyed our home. Their mm -hmm. kids would be at our house learning about animals, playing with them. Mm -hmm. You know, we had ponds with turtles in the front yard and things like that. It's an extension of the love that you yeah, felt. Yeah. And maybe that has a lot to do with neighbors who they don't feel the love right. from their neighbors. Well, yeah, yeah. So, it's just a you know, natural you call extension. Up the police. My neighbor has a goat living in his garage, and he's not supposed to. Or they have chickens. And, yes, yeah. yes. Or even, even more, um, they're having a party. You know, <laughs> invite them over. They That's won't. Right. Yes, yeah. invite them to the That's party. That's what you would learn. See, I tell people to use love as a weapon. Don't drive people crazy. Say I love you, and I mean it. Uh, and that includes family as well. You see, again, my experience is you grow up abused by your parents. And, and that's part of why I wrote this. I'm listening to people whose parents could be dead. They may be 50, 60 years old, and they're still saying, what my parents did to me. Yeah, yes. One woman said, yes. my mother's words were eating away at me and maybe gave me cancer. She has had cancer several times, has less trouble living with cancer. Her mother's words are still, you know, and she can't let go. Oh, that's and a shame. I know. And what I've seen is when you go to your parents and say, I love you, and this is a true story again. Mary comes in one day with a smile. I said, what happened? Because she had alcoholic abusive parents. And she had been saying, I love you to them every morning. And mm -hmm. she kept saying to me, they never answer. You know, you're wrong. It doesn't do any good. And then she came into our group with a smile. I said, what happened? She said, I was late for work today. So I ran out of the house. My parents were in the street screaming, you forgot something. She said, what did I forget? I have my lunch. I have my bag. You didn't say I love you. And wow. she said, we all had a good cry and hugged each other. Yeah. That's an important connection that parents mm. need to do with their young yeah. children. I didn't say like, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, it's love. Love. That's different. Love. Yeah. Pa I find that we have children that many times they're not talked to, just regular conversation, and it affects a child tremendously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And parents it, need to know that. Again, now that we have things like the ultrasound, you can show the newborn fetus is writhing when the parents are screaming at each other. Really? Yeah, we have films of this. And when, you know, the parents are loving, and then the kid is relaxed and happy. So they oh, hear you. Oh, I didn't um, know this. There's a That's book called very The Biology of Belief. But basically, up to the age of six, the child's brainwave pattern is like that of somebody under hypnosis. So you're hypnotizing your children. See, this woman I mentioned said my mother's words are eating away at me. Her mother dressed her in black, brown, and navy, so nobody would notice her, gave her failure messages her whole life. When I met her, she was wearing a red dress that was giving me a headache. You know, it was like sequined <laughs> red. And, and her husband sitting next to her, and I thought, how do you let this woman out of the house, you know? But when she finished telling me about her mother, they, and then I get cancer, so I went out and bought a red dress and, and red high heel shoes. Mm -hmm. She was red from here to her toes. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, I forgive you. But she had to get cancer to buy a red dress and, and still is struggling with her mother's message. That is so mm -hmm. interesting. You know, this has been an absolutely wonderful Thank interview. You. I've absolutely loved it. Um, you want to read something? You have. Here, this is a great line. This came from a true story I read about a four-year-old dog was going to be euthanized. 
and the vet, you know, said, look, if your child wants to come, bring him. So the parents brought him. And the child comes in, and the vet says, why do dogs have a short life when people don't? We sat down and talked for what seemed a long time. He asked if I knew why dogs have shorter lives than people. I told him dogs know how to love and forgive. They don't need all the time to learn. Ah. Uh, yeah. And they teach us. And animals are complete. Man is not. They, uh, the biblical word good should be complete. All that God created was complete. But man isn't. It doesn't follow after God created man. Uh, you know, so it was good. We're still yeah. learning. Right. We're still learning. So use the kids and use the animals. Bernie Siegel, thank you so much for <laughs> coming flies, on this show. Right. It flew. It flew. But, thank you so much. Right. If people want to uh, contact Bernie, just Google him. You'll, you'll come up with and, millions well, of information. It's easy. BernieSiegelMD.com. MD. And if you me. wanted more information, you can contact me at WiseWorkshops.com or JMDTeach at Comcast.net. Bernie Siegel, it's been a pleasure, thank and I you. hope you come back again sometime. I will. Thank you so much. You know...